A woman is riding a Bajaj to go to school. Her name is Gita Rani. While on the way, the Bajaj driver says that the place she is going is not a school, but it is more appropriate to call it a market, because it is dirty and full of graffiti. Arriving at school, what the Bajaj driver said was true. Inappropriate school building, with messy conditions. and the teachers don't really care about their students. But, there is still one teacher who teaches sincerely. Then, she enters the teacher's room to ask for the registration information. However, she doesn't get a good service there. She's required to wait for the vice principal to come. After a long wait, the vice principal finally come, and asks about her needs at the school. She replies that she wants to get information about registration. Hearing this, the vice principal writes down the nominal amount she has to pay for the registration fee. Knowing that the cost is very expensive, even though the school is a public school. Instantly, she mad, but the vice principal instead kicks her out, because she doesn't want to pay. Next, she goes ahead to ring the bell many times. So, the teachers and staff try to stop her. However, she shows a letter of statement as the new principal. It makes the teachers and staff surprised. Not long after, the flag ceremony begins. In that occasion, she introduces herself as the new principal. She also immediately makes a new rule that make teachers and students feel shocked, such as the use of uniforms, school hours, and the policy that teachers must always be there for students, and the imposition of penalties for the violators. The new policy disturbs the other teachers and vice principals, because they can't do what they want. Meanwhile, she approaches the owner of the shop in the school area, to ask him not to sell cigarettes to students, but the seller asks her to tie up her students. The answer makes her feel angry. She immediately destroys the shop, to frighten the owner, the students also rush into the classroom after they see her firmness. Her journey is continued by sweeping the students. On that occasion, she finds a boy who is smoking. Then, she confiscated the cigarettes. However, the student actually says that the reason he chooses this school because there are not many rules. Not only that, the student also challenges her. Because the student feels proud of his status, as the son of an official. The next day, Gita returns to school by a bajaj. On the way, the driver again discusses the disrepute and the corrupt practices that occurred in the school. In addition, he also said the cause of the nation's backwardness is because the teachers do not take good care of the young generation. Gita just smiles after hearing that. When she arrives at school, she again makes a breakthrough by changing her learning approach into quantum learning, so that teaching and learning activities become more fun. She also supervises all the teachers at school. After the activity, she learns that there are many teachers who did not have sufficient competence with the subjects they are capable of. Following up on this, she gives all teachers 30 days to learn the technical competencies. Then, if they don't do it, then she will suspend the teachers. On the other hand, there is an entrepreneur in the field of education named Ramalingam. He is the owner of MSC School. He heard that the state schools in the Tamil area are starting to improve. He was starting to get worried, because he is worried that his school would lose to the state school lead by Gita. He orders his guards to investigate about Gita and the school. The next day, Gita is approached by an official who is the father of the child who challenged her a few days ago. The man looks angry and scolds Gita because he feels disturbed. However, Gita answers him casually. She also challenged his son who had no achievement other than relying on his father. Her words making the student feel annoyed, and he challenged to be an outstanding student. Subsequently, her act of confronting to challenge a high-ranking person is becoming viral. All people talk about it. In order to change the system, she tried to involve parents for school development. She listens to complaints, criticisms, and suggestions from the parents. She also motivates parents to be an active role in the development and construction of schools. Next, she calls the Public Works Agency to inquire about the school project, which has not yet been completed. She asks the Public Works Agency to immediately repair the school, before she goes to the inspectorate to investigate the pending project case. With the various breakthroughs she makes, the school finally became better and meet the standards. However, this make Ram even more uncomfortable, because he was worried that his business would be threatened. Therefore, he launched a war by placing his school banner right in front of Gita's school. In addition, the other officials who are insulted by Gita also felt angry, and wants revenge. Even the vice principal also wants to get rid of her, because he felt that his position is threatened. But it fails, because the CEO committee suspends the vice principal, because he was accused of sexually harassing several female students and teachers. At that time, Gita asks why so many students have problems at the school. Then. Many disciples also come out. They even have to work even though they are underage. One of the teachers said that it is a student's inability to learn. Then, she makes a reverse question by asking whether it is necessary to do a teacher competency test. And teachers who do not pass must be discarded. The question immediately makes all the teachers speechless. Then, 
she orders to give the status of an outgoing student, and must be given special treatment, so that they can all pass the test. Responding to the war carried out by Ram, Gita then reported Ram's school banner which was considered to violate spatial rules. So, the banner was forcibly removed by environmental officers. Her act of being bold enough made Ram feel furious. So, he came to Gita's house. At home, Gita lives alone with her father. Her father tells Ram to focus on minding his own business, and do not interfere with his daughter's work. Hearing the answer from Gita's father, Ram leaves, feeling angry. A few days later, the head office came to the school for a sudden inspection. Because there was a report which cornered the school. Arriving there, Gita and the head office went around the school to check the school accompanied by daily executive officers. After checking the condition of the school, the head office tells her to be careful, because there are parties who want to bring her down. Because the plan failed, then the vice principal returned to the official to discuss other steps to get rid of Gita. They tell the villains to beat Gita at school. However, their efforts again failed because it turned out that Gita had martial arts skills, and she can fight those villains. The news of the villain's defeat left the vice principal and the official in shock, because it was beyond their expectations. A few days later, there is another problem. Now, the students are getting into a fight. This is triggered by a caste fanaticism. But strangely, the teachers did not handle the incident. Finally, Gita splashed water on them to disperse the commotion. Next, she took off all the bracelets that all the disciples were wearing. And then she burned the bracelet. But her actions sparked the wrath of fanatics. These people do a demo. And they demand Gita to step down from her position. The action was the result of provocation from teachers and officials who did not like it. After that, she chose to agree to the protesters' demands. On the condition that the demonstrators can answer a few questions from her. Among other things about the budget. Why don't they protest the low education budget? So the quality of education is also low. Then, she also asked the official who shouted in defense of her caste. However, to date she has made no contribution to society and caste. Furthermore, officials who are worried that their popularity will decline, then invite the public to disperse. In the end, Gita refused to be asked to resign. One day, when the students were practicing marching, suddenly the soldiers who were training saluted Gita. This makes the teachers at the school shocked and curious about who Gita really is. They ask the soldier who Gita really is. How surprised they were after they found out that Gita was a military officer with the rank of lieutenant colonel. The news also shocked the vice principal as well as officials who disliked her. Furthermore, the school received a circular to participate in the district level Olympics. In response to this, Gita appointed a male teacher who succeeded in provoking the residents to become the chairman of the committee. But it was opposed by the teacher who had been the chairman of the committee. Then she asked about what achievements the school got during his six years of leadership as a committee. The teacher could only be silent. Next, she challenged the male teacher, whether he was capable or he was just a puppet. Knowing this, Ram School also has ambitions to participate in the Olympics and wants to win the Olympics so that the school's brand can increase. Not long after, match time arrived. Gita School won medals from various sports. Not only that, her students also managed to win in a literature competition. This achievement led the school to become the overall champion in the Olympics. On the other hand, Ram is very angry because his school lost in the event. After that, Ram tries to change his strategy against Gita. Now he is trying to get Gita to cooperate. However, it was rejected by Gita. Then to celebrate the school's victory in the Olympics, Gita held a party and awards to students who excel. At the event, many people were aware of her services so far. Like a teacher who can now work well, until the son of an official who had only been able to brag about his status. Now he can get the achievement. As a thank you, the child's mother salutes Gita. However, her happiness did not last long, because a few days later, her father died. She felt very sad about her father's death. But as an officer, she tries to stay strong, and she went back to her activities. After her father's funeral was over, knowing that Gita is sad, Sushila meets Gita to show her condolences, and Gita cries in Sushila's arms because she remembers her father again. After several months had passed, the students prepared themselves to take the exam. But Gita got word that some of her students couldn't take the exam, due to some problems. It turned out to be Ram's act of wanting to create a bad image at her school. Then, Gita contacted one of the officials to help her deal with the matter. Until finally all students can take the exam. When she got home, 
She got information that graduation would be announced tomorrow. She then rushed towards the school to prepare for the graduation ceremony. Arriving at school, she meets Sushila who was standing staring at the building. It was his last day on duty before she entered retirement. Gita took the time to talk to Sushila. It turns out that Sushila is the mother of Kathir, who is Gita's future husband who has died. Not long after, the police came to them. Police arrested Gita on charges of abuse of power. That is, she re-enters students who have left, and let them take the test. Because of this, she was detained at the police station, heard the news that she was arrested. Parents and students staged demonstrations to demand that she be released. They are even willing to stay at the police station until their demands are granted. Such conditions made the deputy head of the service intervene to persuade the residents. But it didn't work, and news of Gita's arrest made headlines in India. The next morning, the announcement of the exam was carried out, and the results showed that as many as 79 students passed out of 82 students who took the exam. All the students and parents cheered for their success. With this result, the Ministry of Education withdrew the report to Gita, and she was declared free.